Hi Aries. Welcome to your October reading. I can't believe we're already like in the last third of the year, you know, soon we're going to come up to the holidays. And I'm curious with you guys, that's why I'm just going to start shuffling. Um, about the energy that's happening in Libra right now, like just across from you, because uh, this is all in your seventh house. And I feel like um, I literally want to say the weight of the world is on my shoulders right now. Like, I feel like you have decisions that you need to make. And I feel like um, these decisions that you're going to be making have to do with people who you thought were friends. Or people who you thought you could count on. You know? It almost feels like <laughs> it's like that dreaded conversation that you have to have and you have to place some boundaries and know that what you're doing is for your own highest good even if they've been even if they're boundaries with people that you have known for like 20 years or whatever. And remember that the reason why we get really uncomfortable with placing boundaries with people that we've known for a really long time is because they've known us without the, sorry, I had a hair in my mouth. They've known us without the boundaries. They've known us without um, standing up for ourselves. And so now all of a sudden you start to stand up for yourself and it's like, oh. So now she, now she, she or he is going to stand up for themselves. Now they're gonna stand up for themselves. And you can try and bury yourself in work. <laughs> You can try, but avoiding the conversation that you have to have with someone, that it's never, it is never, never, never fun. Um, and I think the fear of what this is, is more, uh, fear of being alone maybe, or the fear of angering someone not wanting to anger someone but really angering someone so we have the ten of wands we have the two of pentacles the eight of wands the two of wands see where this decision is the eight of pentacles the four of wands and the knight of swords so we'll go through and talk about each one of them. I just wanted to show them to you first. You know, it's really interesting when we have a decision to make and we put it off and we put it off. And Virgos are very good at this. Like, no shade to my Virgo clan. But we, if we don't want to do something, we will procrastinate the hell out of it. Simple as that. And I feel like you've been getting this push forward, right? To release this burden and to just have the conversation or just start going in that direction or just allow yourself um, to let go a little bit, right? 
I know you're really focused on work right now. And I know with this eight of pentacles down here, I know that you're super focused on work. And I know that when you have that focus and that's really what you want to do, and that's really like where you're feeling your um, confidence is coming from, is focusing on work, that's what you want to do. That's what you, that's where you go to, right? That's your happy place. But avoiding the home or avoiding the topic that is surrounding your stability, I feel like there's somebody that's just ready for battle or something. It's very, it's very interesting with this Knight of Swords energy. It's almost... It's almost like they've been waiting for you to make the first move or say something first, and then they're just going to, like, pounce on it. They're just jumping in, right? It's like, here we go. So if you do bring up the topic of conversation that needs to be, and maybe this has to do with work. Maybe this is a conversation that you have to you have to have with with a boss or a coworker or somebody at your work, and it just is not. It's just not something like you don't want to have this conversation. Like I get it. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel comfortable for me to talk about it. Like I don't know what conversation this is that you need to have with somebody, but let's clarify them and see what we get, shall we? The Ten of Wands, you know, and I know that you aren't a, you're no stranger to hard work. You're no stranger to wanting to get the work done and doing what you have to um, to get it done. But at what expense, what cost, you know? Um Your, and it's interesting because your perseverance, and I do feel like your perse perseverance in whatever situation you're in the middle of right now, whether it has to do with a relationship, whether it has to do with work, you working, real, like maybe, for some of you, I feel like this is a promotion. Like you need to talk to your boss about getting promoted or a raise or something like that. And for some of you, I feel like this has to do with people that you've been friends with for a while. And they have crossed your boundaries one too many times and you have to have this conversation, right? Whatever it is that's burdening you right now, you're going to rise above it. You're, it it's going to turn out okay. Things will get better. Things will get easier. You just have, like, you can't just sit here. Like, I know it's Libra season. I... I mean, the twos have been coming out. There are more twos in readings right now than I can even handle with myself. Everybody is doing this because Libra season, even though it's supposed to be about balance, it's actually about checks and balances. And Libras take a long time to make decisions sometimes because they don't want to make the wrong decision. So when we're in Libra season, it's very difficult to just be like, okay, I'm just going to, this is the decision I'm going to make. So I, I get it. But if you stay here for too long, you might miss an op a really great opportunity. Um, you could be trying to figure out what to do with an earth sign. Give me one second, Aries. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> I just like my nose was itching so bad. I and I didn't want to be like, but like spirit is messing with me. It's like there's a feather. It's like a feather tickling my nose. So, so annoying. Okay. Um, if you're trying to make if this is a decision about an earth sign, 
um, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and you need to have a conversation with them, I, I feel like the conversation, like if you just do it, right? And that's the thing is the reason why we don't just do it or just get it done or just have the conversation or just like whatever, right? The reason why we don't do it is the fear of it turning out poorly, not turning out in our favor. Um, the fear, like the reaper, like, like a lot of people don't like confrontation. And Aries, not like, I mean, it's not like you guys like confrontation, but you don't shy away from it, right? But, and that's why I'm saying that I feel like this is more than just a regular old everyday conversation about a raise or something. Like, I feel like it's a little bit more than that. Um, Eight of Wands, yeah. Some of you are moving. Um, I feel like some of you are like actually physically moving or going on vacation. Um, but you're doing it almost to like get away from it. Get away from it all is what I'm hearing. They need to get away from it all. You could be dealing with a cancer energy also. We have the chariot on the eight of wands. And the chariot... And see, here's the thing, though. With the chariot, yes, it has to do with moving. Yes, it has to do with traveling in some way. But it's also about your journey. And it's about the direction that you're supposed to be going on your journey that's right for you. Not right for anybody else but you. You see? And that conversation that you have to have with this King of Pentacles or Cancer, Cancerian, is about the direction that you're supposed to be going out, going in in life. Like, what is it that you're supposed to be doing? You know? And the fact that the sun is opposing Chiron and Chiron is in Aries right now, there's a lot that's being shown to you about... Um, where you have been holding yourself back and so now you're like i don't want to hold myself back anymore right so let's see and i and i feel like let's just see with the two of wands it it just feels like you really are at a crossroads like, for some of you, I actually see you standing at a fork in the road. I could go this direction. Looks a little bit rocky, but I could do it. Or I could go this direction. A little bit easier. May not be exactly what I want, though. You know what I mean? So, let's see. Two of Wands. Oh, the fear. You're not making the decision because either you don't have enough, and this is where the hard work is coming in, and this is where, like, like for some of you, this does have to do with a promotion or something like that, um, and you don't feel like you are being paid enough for the work that you've been doing, and it's time for you to go in a new direction, um, or... You're realizing that you should be doing something else, but the fear of you not being able to do it because, like, is it going to be financially secure, yada, yada, yada. But that's the thing is, you like, just going on faith and trust is huge in an instance like that. And one of the things that I'm teaching in the, in the self-alignment course that I'm doing on in October, the first one is on October 5th, um, which is next weekend. But we're going to be talking about how to remove fear from your vocabulary. It won't be 100% gone. It 
but and here's the thing aries the reason why ooh, look at you showing up loud and proud bottom of the deck the reason why i don't want you to bust your ass anymore for whether it's a job whether it's a person whether it's a situation i don't care what it is that you're doing but you have been working at it for a very long time and it's like over and over and over and over. The more you work on it, the harder it gets. It's like trying to force a circle into a square peg or a square peg into a circle hole. You know that saying. Um, that three of swords on the eight of pentacles is very telling. Like, you're exhausted. And and even a little bit butthurt, if I can use that word and not offend anybody, by the fact that you're the one that's having to show up constantly and do everything. Right? So... Judgment. It's time for the conversation to happen. Judgment on the Four of Wands and the Knight of Swords. And I, I really, really, really feel like there's the hesitancy with you guys on having this conversation because you're like, but things were so good before. I don't know what happened. Things were so good before. Well, you gained control of your life. You started to see where you needed to heal more. Uranus moved into Taurus. Chiron came into your sign. Things started to become very, very clear to you. And you were like, I cannot do this anymore. Like I can't keep being the hamster on the wheel over and over and over and over again. You know? So, bottom of the deck, the Emperor and the Queen of Wands. In your power. Standing in your power. But, what's going to trip you up is if you allow yourself to sit in the regret of something not turning out the way that, like, I feel like part of the reason why this conversation may not have taken place yet is because you're like, I've been through this before. I don't want to deal with it again. But that's your first clue. That's your first lesson is that if you've been through it before, there's a reason why it's come back because you didn't deal with it. You didn't keep your, you didn't put up your boundaries. You didn't allow yourself to see things from a different perspective. Dot, 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 etc., etc. Healing, healing, healing. Right? I feel like towards the end of October, going into November, during Scorpio season, things are going to feel like a little bit easier when it comes to Oh, I actually just heard with the 9 of cups and the 6 of swords because the 9 of cups sometimes can be overindulgence. So I feel like some of you in order to not have to deal with this, you're going to do the escapism route or you're going to overindulge in something to um, mask your emotions, whether it's alcohol, whether it's food, whether it's recreational drug, I mean, whatever, whatever it is, I don't judge. Um, but try not to overdo it and then have the conversation. Because I feel like you're going to try and do something to like, Oil the joints, if you will. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do it. Um, but I do feel like things are going to get a little bit easier. 
and um, make sure you're being honest with yourself about your funds. You know, if you need to save a little bit more, start doing that. Now is the time to start doing that. The cards are really emphasizing that you're feeling a sense of lack, maybe monetarily too. Not just like in your surroundings, but monetarily too. Okay? But um, I do think the end of October is going to, things are going to ease up a little bit, but I feel like things will ease up as you open yourself up to having this conversation or even just like, just make the decision. Even if you haven't had the conversation yet, just make the decision and start moving in that direction. Okay. Okay. I love you guys. Um, have a wonderful October. If you would like to do, like I'm only scheduling personal readings um, to, like if there's only a limited amount of personal readings left to schedule. So if you wanna get in, now is the time to do it. Um, I, they will, they, I won't be scheduling personal readings because I, there are other things that I wanna do like the self-alignment course, which the first one is on October 5th. Um, I'm going to have a couple more in October and November, but, um, October 5th is the first one that's next weekend and, um, meditation and Reiki healing circle. We're getting together once a week on Sundays or like we're doing the new moon, the Libra new moon tomorrow. So if you want to register for that, it's on my website. The link is in the description box below. It's just on the front page of the website. Um, it's really powerful and amazing. And with the Libra new moon, we can manifest new things into our life very easily with a larger group of people. So it's going to be great. There's going to be Reiki healing transmitted as well. Um, Reiki energy transmitted for healing purposes as well. So it's great. Um, I hope you join us. Have a wonderful October. I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.